Let me put you on to making mead. It's growing in popularity because it's an easy and delicious way to make alcohol from home. And if you have honey, water, and yeast, you can make it too. This was my orange blossom recipe, which is just one of the many recipes I have. I let it ferment for a month and then I aged it, and now it's finally time to bottle. The important part when bottling, or anytime you transfer jars or vessels, is to use a rack and cane and siphon. And this is because there are lots of particles and sediment in the mix that eventually fall to the bottom, and using a siphon allows you to suck up the liquid without disturbing it. This is how you can keep it super clear without using a filter. And the longer you let it sit before bottling, the more clear it'll become. People always ask me what mead tastes like, and it's often confused for beer. It's actually more similar to wine. Instead of fermented grapes, it's just fermented honey. And to me, it kind of resembles a smooth white wine with notes of whatever fruit you add. You can really customize it however you want, and add vanilla, spices, herbs, and there's a lot you can do. This batch got up to 14%, which is pretty typical for mead. And for this reason, I like to bottle it in wine bottles and then seal it with corks, which also helps preserve it for long periods of time. If everything is properly sanitized and sealed, mead can be good for years, and it actually gets better with age. Give this recipe a try and let me know how you like it.